it's me Grace. Today we're going to be making a cute little mouse. It can be an ornament or it can just be kind of a shelf sitter. Um, I thought it was really cute. Um, you can just kind of cut out the mouse however you want to. I didn't have a pattern. I just kind of, you know, just free handed it with my scissors. Um, if you want a pattern, I can certainly put one up on my website and then put a link to it in the description box. Um, but it was really simple. It's kind of small, so that's good. Um, they make cute gifts too um, and stocking stuffers. Wouldn't it be so cute to see them peeking out of a stocking? So you're going to need a few things. Here's what you need. You're going to need white felt, green felt, pink felt, some polyester stuffing, some scissors, a needle, some string or a thread, a button, some hot glue or craft glue, and um, I also use some butcher's twine for the tail and also for the button you're going to need some fabric markers. And did I mention polyester stuffing? Because you're probably going to want some of that. To begin, you're going to either glue together the pieces around the outsides or you're going to stitch them. But be careful to make sure that you leave an opening at the back for the stuffing. Now we're going to take a little bit of polyester stuffing and stuff the inside of the mouse, but we don't want to stuff it too full because we still have to sew it shut. Before I finish sewing up the hole that I used to stuff it through, I'm going to just cut a little bit of butcher's twine and this one's like a peachy pink color and I'm going to just attach it to the very inside with a spot of hot glue and that way I know that it won't pull out after I sew it up. So I'm going to just go ahead and attach that and then I'm going to just continue stitching around the outside until I'm done. The next thing I'm going to do is take some of my green felt and I'm going to cut a, a couple of thin strips, one slightly shorter than the other, and now I'm going to work on making the tassel or the, the tassel or the fringe on the scarf. So I'm just going to cut really narrow, well not that narrow, but kind of narrow strips. Um, you can see I cut a piece of it off, so just kind of be careful, but um, in the felt I'm just going to cut those little strips. And then I'm going to attach the piece, the top piece, to the bottom piece with some hot glue on the back. I'm just going to kind of fold it over a little bit. Next, I'm going to lay it down and make sure that it's like I want it before I adhere it with some more hot glue. I'm 
I'm going to take some pink felt and make the inside of the mouse's ear. So I just cut a small semicircle and I'm going to hot glue that on as well. Next, I'm going to take some yellow and white butcher's twine and I'm just going to feed that through the holes on the button that I chose just to make it a little extra cute. And I'm just going to run that through and then then tie a knot on the back to secure it before I hot glue it to the place where I want it on the scarf. And since I'm having a little trouble with my scarf staying put, I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue underneath that too, just to tack it down a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is use my pink and black fabric markers just to make the nose, which I'm going to put at the very tip not going to make it very big. Next, I'm going to use the black marker just to make a tiny dot of an eye. And lastly, I'm going to pick up my pink again and just give it a little blush on the cheek. I really like fabric markers. They come in pretty handy for all kinds of things. All done. I think he turned out pretty cute. I hope yours did too. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Bye.